Hi, it's Allison from Mahalo.com, and today I want to talk to you about circle essentials. Now, the definition of a circle is the set of points in a plane that lie a fixed distance from a given point. That given point is the center. And when you look at all those points that lie a certain distance from it, that creates a circle. So whenever you see a circle, there's a few things that you really want to find out. One of those is the radius. The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on its edge. Now another important thing to know is the diameter. The diameter is the distance from one point on the edge of the circle to another point on the edge of the circle, but passing through the center. So this longer line here, that would be the diameter. And because of its definition, because the diameter has to pass through the center of the circle, that means that the diameter will be equal to two times the radius. So if you know the diameter, you know the radius. If you know the radius, you know the diameter. Now, there's some common formulas associated with circles. One of them is the circumference. Now, the circumference is the distance around the outside edge of the circle. And that is designated by this formula. C equals pi times the diameter. Now, since the diameter is two times the radius, you can just put that in instead of the diameter. So it's pi times two times r, or more commonly, you'll see it written two pi times the radius. Now let's talk just for a second about pi, that mysterious constant that you always see when you work with circles. Archimedes was the first person to accurately, very accurately, approximate the value of pi. He discovered, and then it was discovered more strictly later on, that for any circle, if you take the distance around the outside of it and divide it by its diameter, you always get the same constant value, and that constant value is pi. Now, pi is actually an irrational number, so we can't actually write it as a fraction or a terminating decimal. But you can approximate pi if you're doing calculations. You can approximate pi as 22 over 7, or as about 3.14159, something like that. But those are just approximations. They aren't exact, and that's an important thing to remember. Now, the area of a circle also uses pi in its formula, and that is pi times the square of the radius. But again, if you know the diameter, you can find the radius and then find the area. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you about circles, and that's the basic equation for a circle. So, for a circle with the center at the coordinates h and k and a radius r, this is how you write the equation. It's x minus h, h is the x-coordinate of the center, squared, plus y minus k, k is the y-coordinate of the center, squared, and that's equal to the square of the radius. So if you see an equation like that, you can identify it as the equation of a circle, and you can determine the radius and the center of that circle just by looking at that equation. And that's some of the essentials of circles.